All right, so I know a lot of people have done these, like what I'm taking to school or what's in my backpack. Started videos since I was school has either started for some people or is starting really soon. Um, and I know this year is really, really different and it's kind of crazy and it's a little bit different. So I thought I would show you guys um, what I personally would take to school um, on a daily or semi-daily um, basis when I was in school and then also what I had when I was online um, and learning online. Um, I started um, March break. Our March break got extended for three weeks. Um, so the end of March we started virtual learning or distance learning and we were online until the end of school and the end of June. Um, so I have a whole bin of stuff. I kind of went around my room, gathered everything up and thought I would just show you, kind of talk you through some of the stuff. Um, so yeah, so start with a water bottle. I always, 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 always had a water bottle. No matter if I was learning, like doing virtual or at school, I always had a water. Um, this is the thermal th flask, I think. Yeah, thermal flask. Um, I can um, put links for it um, from Amazon down below. This is just an Amazon um, top, I don't remember the brand name, um, that is a suck lid. It came with like a spin lid, um, but I recently got one of these lids because I like them better. Also, I got stickers. Make it fun because you drink a lot of water at school. Um, this one's nice because it keeps water cold for up to 12 hours, so I can put ice in it in the morning and have cold water when I get home from school several hours later. Um, the other thing are notebooks. Um, so just like a regular notebook that you can take notes. This is an empty one because um, my other ones have a lot of school stuff in them and I couldn't find the one that I was looking for. So making sure you have a notebook or line paper in a binder. Um, and then this one is my journal. I also took this one to school often, which I like to classify as my everything notebook. It literally is everything. Um, I used to put homework and stuff in here too, what my homework was and stuff. So journals, um, this is my journal. Um, and I've put um, journal prompts in the front for days when I need a little bit of inspiration to write. So those electronics um either a computer um or a this is a uh tablet computer i got off of amazon for like a 100 bucks um and i flip and love this thing it's smaller so it's nice to carry around however this was nice because a the battery lasted longer b if the battery did die that we had chargers at school that matched this charger which was really nice um because i would lose chargers um, or forget to bring them for whatever reason. So having a charger was really nice. Um, and then also having a full-size computer um, that could run a lot of programs that the school computers could use. I was the worst at remembering the school passwords. Um, so making sure you have those as well. I have a bag of electronics. Um, so portable chargers in there normally. It was charging because um, I use this all the time. Several cables. You're going, you're crazy. Um, I have earbuds, um, Apple charger, an extra Apple charger. Normally there's a block. It's currently plugged into my Apple Watch. Um, and then a charger for my portable charger. Um, also because I'm diabetic, it charges my receiver for my sensor. Um, and then I have Bluetooth headphones in here as well. Um, so extra headphones. Um, and then I do have the adapter on my headphones for um school because i have i don't can't use a regular headphone jack but having regular headphones for right for school computers is really nice too um one of the days when i did have to use an actual school computer for assignments and stuff or if like for tests or something or essays um that was really nice just to have that um the other things that i found really helpful were these uh style sticky notebooks so it's basically Tons of sticky notes. These ones are falling out, apparently. Um, so these are three relatively nice size sticky notes, little flag notes, um, and then ones you can make really, really big lists. Um, I would use them in my calendar for keeping things organized. I'd move things around, date to date. Um, if I was doing stuff, like I had like a lot of things going on, um, for sure. And then a calendar. And I really like these calendars from Happy, the Happy Planner um, because it's 
so they're really good quality um i think it was like 25 bucks like it was honestly not bad you can get them on amazon i have seen them there i have seen them also online and they do come with stickers which is really nice but you have like a month view um this is december let's go like february because february is fun so they have these pages that i really haven't filled out much and <laughs> i really should fill them out um but then it has your month to month with like your month which was really nice for assignments due dates big things like that and then it has day to day month like a whole week so you can see so i would write things i had going on so work shifts homework um appointments so i could see it um so i could look and be like oh this is due this day this is due that day this is my homework for the night um and then it does have like a section down here for notes um so this is this month there's not a lot in here yet but all of these sticky notes are youtube videos that i'm going to be filming um this month and then whatever i don't film fill like film i can just move over to the next sort of thing um so yeah they're really fun that way so that's a really good thing to have are those um what else is in here a good calculator um for math, science, just to have a good calculator was really nice, um, and it fit my pencil case. And then cue cards, colored and white cue cards. I cannot tell you how many cue cards I used for notes for school, um, studying, um, speeches, like prompts for speeches. I used them all the time. Um, another thing are these ones. They're really good for putting in books, so you can mark pages um, and things like that. I did an assignment for English class. I had to read The Handmaid's Tale. And that book was really heavy to read um, to begin with, and it was a lot of work. Um, it was covered, I think there was like something like 180 sticky notes in it at the end of the book when I was finished. The other thing is um, a binder. Um, this was from last semester's um, thing. I only had two classes, um, so I didn't have a big binder, but I had some lined paper. Um, I've taken all my school stuff out of here. Um, I did have um some other things in here that is just no that's no, not private information um but i did have like notes and things like that i was doing and work stuff in there and then there's a bunch of random things in here but it was nice i had this clear um pouch that had a zipper on it and that so i could put like pieces of paper and stuff that i needed to take home um or that weren't like hole punch them to get lost i can slip them in there and lock them in like zip it up so they wouldn't go anywhere um one of the other things is a pencil case um full of an stupid amount of pens and pencils there's a usb in here there's charger or um a ruler pens use like thumb drive highlighters up to wazoo um and then one get a pencil pouch that your calculator will fit in that was really nice to have so that it fits having something that fits everything one spot is great um i got these specific ones off of amazon um and you get two in a pack um and they're really nice you get a black one and a brown one um and the tags match so that was really nice to put them both in my backpack the other one has like the other one specifically has um colored pens and markers in it so that was um really nice so i could see which one i was grabbing if i needed colored pens i would grab that one um if not a couple of other things would be hand cream um especially in the winter our school is really dry and you're washing your hands especially now you'll be washing your hands even more so having some hand cream um this is just body moisturizer that honestly works as hand cream it's fantastic i love this stuff um my skin is very dry because I'm a swim instructor, so it's fantastic. Best friend is whiteout, um, and then too many erasers. There's never so much things. I think I have like 20 erasers in my backpack. And then the last thing, because um, I can't find my other ones right now, but colored pens. I color code, eh, it's bad. I have a really bad problem with color coding stuff. Um, so I color code everything. So I have colored pens. Um, and I really am enjoying these ones specifically. Um, so let's see if we can find the black one. Um, 
And so you can get big packs of these. I don't know if it'll focus. Um, on Amazon. I got these ones at Walmart specifically. Um, and I got the fun colored ones. So I just have a bunch of fun colors here. Um, and stuff. So you got, I think you got these, and I think there might be one more color. And then I got a pack of two of the black ones, and I really like them. And then the other ones that I got, which have more colors, oh, there's, there's the green one, um, are these, like, ones. And they have, like, the fine end, and then, like, a bigger end. So those are really nice. Um, those were kind of the things, other things I had, keys for my lock. I had a key lock, um, at school to keep things together, just because I lost everything all the time so i had school i had keys um and stuff but those are really the things that i used a lot oh and a good backpack um i had a roots backpack um i had this i got th i think i used three i was hard on my backpack so i was very hard on them um so i would really recommend getting a good backpack that you like um and then a good lunch bag that you like um and that's big enough for you um, besides that, that was kind of it. Oh, one more thing. We always had books. I always had a book in my backpack, um, that I was reading. Our school started doing, we had silent reading for 20 minutes, um, Monday to Thursday, um, for each period of the day. And then it turned to, to unplugged, um, because people were reading on their phones and they didn't want that. He wanted them off your phone. Um, so I, um, would always have a book. Um, this is the book I'm currently reading. Um, it's called everything I never had time to explain about diabetes um it's by a diabetic author I have not really started it. I'm like a chapter into it but it's really good so far and I'm really really enjoying it um so yeah I will do um some more videos and stuff um for sure on school stuff and things that I used to do to help with school um and ways that they would do things the other thing that I was going to say is because we are in the middle of onlining um, school, I will do a video later on um, on how to how I sorted and cleaned and organized my Google Drive um, to help students understand because it's really hard to like organize your drive and like it can be a lot for that. Um, and so enjoy that will be coming soon, probably in the next couple of weeks, depending on some stuff. Um, the other thing is. If you have questions about how I like day to life with school, anything that involves um, diabetes, anything like that, um, or any of those questions, let me know. Um, you can leave them down below or you can DM my um, uh, Instagram account, which is my underscore um, T1D underscore world, um, and I can try and answer them there. Um, I do know coming up, in November I'm gonna try and answer everyone's questions November is diabetes awareness month um, and so I'm gonna try and answer questions and things that people ask me a lot and stereotypical things like that so I really really hope um, if you've got questions that you feel comfortable sharing them I am an open book um, I have lived with this disease for 13 almost 13 years now um, it'll actually be 13 at the end of November um, 13 years of type 1 diabetes. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have other questions about like why this or why that that I didn't really explain well,